now in this video we will uh, study about design of hoisting mechanism that is a part of a design of mechanical systems now we will check about design assembly now as you can see here here we have a hoisting assembly in which we will first say with one by one parts now the main component through which we are going to get the power that is motor so this is the motor part through which we are going to get the revolutions now after that the motor is connected to a gearbox and this gearbox it is connected to next one that is coupling and this coupling is connected to hoisting drum now this hoisting drum plays an important role why because it has the wire rope or the rope wire which is around it and which lifts or hoist the load which is connected to the hook now here you can see the lines now these lines are a rope now this rope is attached to moving pulleys this is the moving pulleys there are two pulleys here now we have multi pulley system which is also called as multi fault system now these pulleys are connected those are moved on the axle and the rope it is also moved to one of the pulley which is called as compensating pulley now these two pulleys are placed on the axle and this axle it is mounted on a shackle plate now at the other end of shackle plate we have one more thing that is a cross piece part now here the cross piece is connected to a shackle plate and on cross piece we have one more factor that is hook which is actually used to lift the load and at the end there is a thrust bearing so that the hook can rotate now it simply it has a particular rotation a so lesser rpm that is why we are using thrust bearing not ball bearings so this is a general view of hoisting assembly and through this module through these chapters we are going to understand the design procedure of each and everything and how we can select it